A healthy sweet snack has to be gluten-free, vegan, low in sugar, no peanuts. And I want to be able to munch on it, you know? It's just not one bite and then it's gone. So I'm testing out this and it's pretty yummy. It's just simple apple slices with a bit of honey. You can see it leaking there. This is uh, almond butter, but it's like with still with the skin, so it's brown and there's still a little bit of crunchiness in it. And you can sprinkle on some chia seeds or anything you want on top, but I just wanted to leave it plain because I'm having chia every morning with my porridge, so keeping it simple. And um, I've been working all weekend, even though I said that I had to stop doing that. I had to take at least the weekends off to replenish, otherwise I never power down. And I just did it again for like the second or third week in a row so right now it's past 4 p.m i just got under this little blanket and i'm gonna watch some i get to go season three i didn't know it was out so i'm very excited to watch it because i love 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 this show <laughs> does anyone else get emotionally attached to their belongings i mean i'm not a materialistic person at all. In fact, I hate having clutter around. It, it's so distracting. But there are some things that I get so attached to that I end up using them until they fall apart. Take my bag for instance. I've used that bag almost exclusively for the past three to four years and it is now in tatters. So for my birthday in July, I asked for a new bag to replace it. Classic, goes with everything, good looking bag. But when I had to take my stuff from inside my old bag and move them to my new bag, I still had like this little twinge of guilt inside my stomach, like I was betraying my old bag. I don't know if it's just me or if that happens to anyone else. Another example is this iPod. Yes, I still use an iPod. I've had it for the past at least 15 years. So there's like 15 years worth of music on here. And honestly, putting this thing on shuffle is the best thing ever because you will find some things that <laughs> you had totally forgotten even existed. And I will keep using it until it becomes a brick, which it pretty much is already, but I mean, it's still plagues, so that's the whole point. I just get so attached to things. And recently, which is why I'm talking to you right now, I've had to say goodbye to one of my most prized belongings. I don't know how to explain it any other way. Um, I mean, one of the reasons I take so long also to change things around and replace things is because I can't really afford to, given my financial situation. I usually will use things until they're completely dead and I have to buy something else. If you watch my past vlogs, you've seen the state of my trainers. I go to the gym and I've glued them back so many times and uh, yeah. Recently, I've really had to take that leap and it's something that I've had for at least six years. I've had it before I even moved in this apartment. And it's something that I use all day, a lot, throughout the day, morning to evening. And it's something that is very costly. Well, it can be very costly to replace, but I see this as one of my work tools as well as one of my like personal items um and it took me two weeks to take that leap i mean obviously prior to those two weeks i was thinking like i really need to start saving up because it's coming up to that point where i'm gonna have to replace it and it's gonna be unavoidable but it took me two weeks that when i had finally had that rainy day fun that i had to spend <laughs> to get this replacement it took me two weeks to, take, to do it it i was searching for the prices and searching for the models and and um i was like no i can i can still stay with mine and yeah if you haven't guessed what i'm talking about what i'm rambling about right now it's my old phone i am so attached to this phone and I can't explain why I am attached to the phone. 
I'm attached to this case which I got in Japan. I don't know if it was the first time or the second time around, but I really love this pink case. And I mean, this little, is it called a pop socket? I don't even know, this ring hole thing. It's a friggin' onigiri. And this thing, I think I got it in Kyoto the first time. It's supposed to be a love charm. Clearly it did not work. <laughs> but I'm very attached to this phone. It's an iPhone 5S and like I mentioned, it's been everywhere with me, it's been to Japan with me, it's seen everything. I mean, I think it was like a day or maybe two days after I got this phone, I went through a horrible breakup, so I was literally the girl waiting by the new phone. <laughs> it's been through a lot with me and I got really attached, but it's so slow. Typing out a message takes forever and the apps keep crashing because I can't update it anymore, so it was just getting ridiculous to go on. But still, I was really, really attached to it. But now I have a new phone with a Pokemon wallpaper. Yeah, that's another thing. I've had the same wallpaper on this phone ever since I got it. That's how weird I am with things. Like, I, yeah. Yeah, I spent that rainy day fund. It was necessary. It had to be done. This is a work tool. I will use it when I finally get to Japan and actually take great photos because this camera is really good. Like, I didn't realize how bad this camera had become after I got this phone. So yeah, this is a um, short story long to say that I have a new phone and I feel a little guilty for having spent so much money on a new model but it was necessary and it had to be done and uh, also to know if anyone has the same issue like like I said, I'm not a materialistic person I don't buy a bunch of things, I can't anyway but I get really attached to some of my things and I'm already really attached to this phone so... is it just me? it can't just be me, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not even close to being a hoarder but some things, some things become friends, even though they're sentient objects. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put you to rest now. Thank you for your service. You've seen a lot. You've definitely seen a lot. 